nation, what, what really we should begin to consider is how do we, as I said, reconstitute a Jewish nation. And instead of being a group of uh, a group, little mini communities from different parts of the world, which happen to find themselves living <coughs> in, in uh, close proximity to, to one another. Let me end with this, with this uh, idea, with this mashal. If, if you had a, you know the kinds of uh, bricks that we have outside here on the street, the uh, paving bricks, the, mm. the stones on which we make the pavements, etc., from the footpaths from. If I gave you a, ten of these and I said, form them into a circle form, that'd be a, a simple thing to do, correct? You would take the ten of them, organize them in a circle, wonderful. We have a circle of ten bricks. And if I let, now came along to you and said, now here's another three bricks, incorporate them into your circle, what are you going to do? You can't add three bricks into the existing circle. You, 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 what you must do, whether you want to or not, is to break your existing circle, take it apart, disassemble it, and create a new circle with 13 bricks. That's exactly our situation. Those who wish to maintain the circle of 10 bricks that we had in the Galuth, and that's because that's the form of Judaism, Galuth, Galuth Judaism, that with which, uh, to, to which they have become accustomed, which we all became accustomed to in the Galuth, of, uh, many, many generations, even nearly thousands of years, you could say. Those who maintain that we must continue this same brick system of ten bricks, the same circle that we know, that is Galut no Judaism, that's the, the halakha that we know, that's the practice, that's the custom, that's the minhag that we know, we can't change from that. That means that you want to leave those, those other bricks outside the circle, because you have no solution. You have no way of incorporating those bricks into, into your system. Those bricks are things like mikdash, Sanhedrin, Nevoah, a Jewish people, uh, Malchut Beit David, all sorts of things which are not to be found in the Shulchan Aruch. You won't find them, dis found, find them discussed in the Mishnah Bula. They're not discussed in the Ben Hai because that's a different form, a different realm, a different type of Judaism. That's Galut no Judaism. But we need to think in terms of Gula no Judaism. I usually refer to Galut no Ju Judaism as GMJ. And the problem with Gulam Judaism is also GMJ. So, so I, have a, I have a solution for that. So I refer to the other Gulam Judaism as redemption mode. So that's RMJ. So we have to replace GMJ. That's what we have to work towards, to move towards RMJ, which means, by definition, that you must now deconstruct that circle. In other words, we have to re-evaluate that form of Judaism with which we all grew up, which the Jewish people were able to uh, function by and survive with throughout the, during the generations of the bitter galuf, we have to be able to take it apart and incorporate into it all the new parts of the, the new old parts of the Torah. But we talk about it every day in the Tefillah. We talk about it in Shmones every day about Chut Beit David, and we talk about Sanhedrin, Hashiv Shofotenu, and everything. All these ideas. If we are serious about these things, then what that means is that we need to examine that circle, realize that it's not up to the task any longer. We have to develop a new, a new system. We have to bring in more bricks, and that means taking apart the old and creating something new. Those who are afeared of taking apart the old are those who say, we can't change when it comes to kidney or anything else for that matter because they can't deal with the concept of taking it apart. But that's what we must do. We must take it apart in order to build something greater, bigger, more majestic, more pure, more, more holy, and more authentic. That is our purpose. That is our job. That is our uh, duty to become a Mamlichet Khanim and a Goy Kadosh.